Happy Tuesday, Shenandoah. It is June the 30th. We are halfway through 2020. That's hard to believe, isn't it? Has anyone else felt like they've lost this entire year? I don't know about you. I feel that way. When I thought about that question, I thought about Luke 19.10, where the Bible says, The Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Now, I know that's talking about our, our salvation and uh, our soul that was lost. And I'm glad that, uh, that he found me. I'm glad that I found him. Uh, but you know what? I think that God also is in the business of, of helping to recover and restore that which was lost. And, uh, you know, really only God can salvage something out of all of this that we've gone through together. Uh, I know you feel like you've lost a lot of time. Uh, the furloughed maybe from work, uh, maybe the being cooped up in the house. Uh, obviously, we've lost a lot of church time. And can I just encourage you to go to the Lord in your spirit and ask Him to restore you. You know, one of the promises in Psalm 23 about the great shepherd is that he's able to restore our soul. And uh, so that was just my thought this morning that I had for you. And uh, I hope that uh, you'll see some good out of all of this bad that has happened the first part of the year. Now, I'm excited. I am super pumped about tomorrow. Uh, we are finally, July 1, getting back to some sense of normalcy. And can I just say, we all need this. Our nation needs this. We got to get back to work we got to get back to moving the economy again. we got to get back to living and living for God. And so tomorrow will be our first service of uh, a Wednesday night Bible study, 7 o'clock. Now, we've enjoyed the seniors' uh, services. That's been wonderful. And uh, seniors, can I say, uh, as safe as it was for you to come at 10 o'clock in the morning, it's still safe to come at 7. And uh, plenty of space for everybody to social distance and every other pew and, and uh, so forth. We'll still check our temperatures as we come in. Obviously, don't come if you're, if you're sick. But uh, I want you to come back to the house of God. And two things that we're doing to enable families to begin to feel as if they can come back is, number one, uh, there'll be a summer kids program tomorrow. Uh, we have eight Wednesday nights of folks that are ready to do something with your kids. Uh, we'll all start in the main service, and then they'll be dismissed, just like we normally do uh, on, a, uh, uh, on a Wednesday night. And then the next step, uh, teenagers, uh, Brother Kidwell has something for you as well. And uh, so all of this is going to start. And, and I've got a great uh, uh, presentation for you. We're going to kind of do something a little bit different during the Bible study time, and I want you to come and, and enjoy it. And then, of course, Saturday is Independence Day. I hope you have some time with friends and family and maybe a picnic or a barbecue and uh, just uh, being together. It's supposed to be some pretty decent weather this weekend. And then speaking of that, Sunday, July 5, in our grand reopening, this will be the first Sunday of us opening up the entire building, meaning the balcony is going to be open. Plenty of seats now for everybody. To be just quite honest, I'm, I'm tired of a 9 o'clock service and an 11 o'clock service. I'm glad that's behind us now. I feel like it was okay for that for a time, but uh, that's not how uh, God's people are not supposed to be separated one from another. And it's time to get back together as a family, as the people of God, as a body. And so we're going to do that this Sunday and remind you, 1045, 1045, uh, you don't have to register any longer. Uh, there won't be waiver forms. Uh, we stopped that this last Sunday. However, we are going to check the temperatures at every entrance. But speaking of that, there's a third entrance. Uh, if you want to enter in through the south door, the north door, or underneath the canopy, all of those glass doors, there'll be an entrance there. Folks, that will be there to greet you. Uh, you can pick up a bulletin this Sunday as well for the first time. Uh, you'll be able to seat yourself. No longer will ushers be taking you to a seat. However, we will ask you to be every other pew at a social distance, sit together as a family. And, uh, but it's going to be a great service, a patriotic service. But more than that, we're having church. I have some special things for you planned this Sunday, uh, some special musical elements that we're going to begin this Sunday as well. It's going to be a great day. And then as soon as we're done, I'm going to ask everybody to... Uh, hopefully have already packed a lunch, a picnic lunch, 
and to head down to the pavilion. Again, we're going to have tables all spread around, chairs, everything social distanced. It's outdoors. It's supposed to be a beautiful day on Sunday. And uh, I want you to come and fellowship a little bit with the people of God. Come bring a picnic lunch. We're not sharing food. Bring enough for your family. And then we'll have an afternoon service. It won't be real lengthy. Uh, we'll do a lot of singing. Uh, Brother Kidwell and I are going to work today even on a little bit of, of guitar playing. And we'll have some fun singing as we always do down at the pavilion. And, uh, and then just a, a brief uh, Bible message. Just, uh, just some time to be together. Now, can I just ask you, lastly, uh, would you consider coming home? I have two words that I want to leave uh, that some of you are, are struggling with. The first word is fear. Look, if you listen to the news, you're going to be afraid. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't know what's going on. I think you ought to know what's going on. Uh, I stay up on what's going on. But to be quite honest, a Christian has to be discerning into what they hear, what comes into the ear gate. Uh, there are people with agendas, obviously. And you need to look at the big picture. You need to, to be safe, and, and I understand that. But you need not operate in fear. Let me give you a Bible verse about that, 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Now, have a sound mind, be wise, but don't operate in fear. The second word I want to give you is really the opposite of fear for a, for a Christian, and that's the word faith. Are you operating in fear or are you operating in faith? And so I'm going to ask you in this instance as well. Uh, there's not a safer place. There's not someone that cares more about you and your health than Pastor Bain. I'm your shepherd. I've been criticized on both sides of, of this issue, and everybody has difference of, of opinion about it. We've opened up in a very measured approach. We've taken our time to open up, to do it safely, to do it slowly. But now we're into July, folks. This thing's been dragging on for a long time. You've got to live your life, and you've got to realize that God's got this. I'm not saying be unwise. That's why we're going to social distance. Don't shake hands. We're not hugging. We're not going to share germs. But you can come to church and be safe, and I'm going to ask you to do that. Come home. First Sunday of July, let's all be back together in the house of the Lord. The Bible says in Psalms, and I'll end with this, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, uh, Sunday morning, 1045, bring a picnic lunch, stay for a little afternoon of fellowship and fun, and uh, let's spend this weekend thanking God for America. Don't you love that we live in America? It's a special place, isn't it? It's also a place that I think God is trying to get our attention, maybe bring some revival. Guess where that revival is going to start? Revival is not going to start with you cloistering yourself in your house. Revival is going to begin because we're salt and light. That means we have to be in this culture. We have to be out in this world to make a difference in this world. We've got to get back to the church being the church. I hope you'll do so. I love you. If you need anything, give me a call here at the church. Reach out to me. We're here. We're working hard. Got a lot of stuff on the agenda. Looking forward to opening up school. Got a new staff member we'll introduce to you tomorrow night. Uh, stuff's still happening here at Shenandoah. Why don't you come be a part? God bless. Have a happy Tuesday.